Subscribe to join us and our travels as we share our life on the sea. Oh, hi there, wonderful man. What are you doing? Well, we've just gotten through some severe weather storms, so the boat project got put on hold. So I'm just starting now, I'm back into the engine. So this is our rear main seal. This was our problem child. So this is our actual seal, which is lost its seal and was leaking oil. So it was only a little bit of oil, like maybe after three or four hours of running, maybe like, I don't know, maybe a, a cap full of oil, but still too much oil. We don't want any oil in our bilge. I'm gonna start here with this piece. I'm just gonna, I'm just removing the old gasket. You can actually buy this as a whole. It's a Perkins engine and it's like a hundred and something dollars or for the whole actual housing and new seal. But hundred dollars is a hundred dollars to us at the moment with all these boat projects. So I'm just gonna remove this seal. There's nothing fancy about it. It's just a lip seal. Um, I've got a new one of these ordered for about $15 and a gasket for $10, so a total of $25 instead of a hundred and something dollars. And really, it's just a housing that needs to be cleaned up, and I'll insert my new seal, and we should be back in business. That's the start of it. So pretty much from the engine, that's my seal, and I'm gonna work my way out. Um, I've got a couple of days until the parts will arrive, so that leaves me a couple of days of cleaning. I'm gonna um, clean up the bilge area a little bit. I'm gonna obviously clean up this to start with, work my way back to the bell housing, then to the gearbox. I'll clean all that up. I've got three new seals. Our gearbox isn't leaking oil, it's fine, but I'm gonna just replace the seals while I've got the engine and get all the gearbox out. I've already done all the dripless side of it, so we should have a fair chunk of a, an area that can cause you problems while you're cruising. Um, contained for a while. They always arise, but we'll minimize it as best as we can. The first part of the problem. So it's been pretty windy and rolly here. We've had over, well, I don't know, I've, I've seen 40 plus on the um, wind instruments. I'm um, gathering through the night, we had bigger gusts. Uh, it was a pretty odd weather system that came down. I'd say we would have seen like some of the, there was only like maybe a handful of gusts that woke us up and really rattled the rig. So prior to going to bed, we were seeing 40 knots. And so I'm assuming those gusts must have been up to 50. There wasn't a lot, maybe a handful of them, but yeah, just you always just when you're asleep and you hear like a bit of a note coming from the rig or the boat moving funny, it, it's a bit scary. Especially when we're just learning this uh, new boat and what it's capable of. And uh, not having an engine adds a little bit more stress to the equation. I'll give you a look at this after. I'm not going to bore you guys. I'm going to rip this out. Oh, it's a little beauty, this sliding hammer. I didn't want to damage any of that face, so... That's pretty much how I'm going to remove the seals that are on the gearbox, because I'm not pulling the gearbox apart. But I just drill a little hole in here, like so. This is just a little Harbour Freight one. It's only a cheapie, but it does the job. And I want that new seal to sit in there when I get it and not have oil seep out through any marks. So getting these out, you want to be very careful not to damage your faces. We well, you don't want to damage anything, really. Anything that has a sealing surface on it. He's back down in his hole. We're waiting on parts, but in the meantime, he's cleaning up all of the pieces of machinery. Just getting a little bit of the old gasket off there, you know. We were like, this is this really loud rain. And it's ice. It's hailing. It's been hailed. It's Way really back. cold and it's actually hailing. Snowflakes on the windows. Is that, is, do we consider that snow? No. Oh, no. no. nice. It's that cold that the rain has frozen. So it's about 10 o'clock at night and Lee's still going hard at it. We don't show you guys all the work he does and I'm just gonna poke my head through the door and um, this is just a little glimpse of all the hours that he puts in late at night till early hours of the morning and he's just been working his butt off. That's where he is, that's where he'll be until he goes to sleep tonight. We're going down there, baby. 
old girl will clean up. <laughs> Cleaning out the bilge. The degrease. Degreasing, getting rid of the oil because it was leaking oil. He's done a lot of cleaning up of the parts, so he's just waiting on the seals to put it all back together, yeah? Pretty much. Pretty much. He's been in that hole, he's been cleaning, he's been working his butt off. We need a paper towel sponsor. <laughs> we are chewing through the rolls. <laughs> Just some of the other parts that he's sprayed up and made pretty. All these bits are waiting for seals and things to get back, put them back together. He got his new uh, damper plate, dampener plate. I think that's what it's called. <laughs> and um, we're just waiting for a few seals and a gasket and we can put the engine back where she belongs. All right, the captain's going to a lot of effort to make this engine bay lovely. Not only is he bettering all the engine bits, he's painted all in here and now we'll be able to see if anything's leaking or he dropped something very easily. It's a lot brighter for him to work in the engine. There's an engine space and it's... it's an engine space and he takes a lot of pride in it. I don't know when he's going to start taking pride in the rest of the boat, but we'll do this first. You've got to start, start from the bottom up, darling. <laughs> this thing in here doesn't work, the boat doesn't move. All right, we'll give it priority then. That's looking good, you're doing a great job. Some of the bits we were waiting on to arrive for the engine, for Lee to put it back together, have arrived. Just prepping, darling. I was prepping. There's the other two feet down there. And he's got the new... Rear main seal. That's it. It's the one. Rear main seal, there it is. Yeah, I'm just trying to work out where it's going to sit. Because he's made it all nice and fresh down there. Cleaned it all up, but it's all ready to go, just waiting on a few more parts to arrive. Some of it is taking longer. Some of it, This stuff here came from the UK, and there's stuff coming in America, and they only just shipped it today. So that's annoying, but it's all right. It'll arrive at the right time. All right, guys, there's not much room in here, but I've just got a little bit of gasket dressing on here. It's helping me just hold the gasket in place. And I will get our rear main seal, which is going to seal around here. I've set the O-ring back a little bit further because there's a bit of a wear line there. So I've set it so that the seal will be under the nice shiny part. Okay, so that's our new seal back on. That was the problem, child. Now it's just a matter of assembling it all back together. I've talked up all those bolt, bolts, uh, brand new gasket, put some gasket dressing on there, torque them up. Now we're going to move our way onto the flywheel, a nice uh, heavy part of the job. And uh, keep bolting away and torquing up. All right, that's the flywheel all torqued off now. And I'm just going to fold these tabs over. It's like a washer here. So if anything was to rattle loose, you don't really want your flywheel coming loose. Um, so I'll fold these tabs over and then I'll get my dampener plate on for the next uh, task here. So flywheel's back on, now the dampener plate will go on, and then the bell housing, and then we're just waiting on seals for the gearbox. Alright, damper plate's on. I'm just going to put a little bit of grease in here, a little bit of grease on the flywheel, and get the bell housing back on. Bell housing's going back on. It's a little bit awkward, it's a little bit difficult. Not much room in there, is it, honey? Sure isn't. Would you like me to hold that? Oh, look at that. Fixing the lighting for the video and all. What a man. Oh, you need to get your leg out of there. My leg's too long. This is going to get a little bit more flexible, honey. You need to do a little more yoga. I'll just get claustrophobic. I think if the motor just dropped now. Don't think about that. Oh, there you go. I'm pretty lucky I wouldn't be able to do this in Catalpha, would you? You have to take the motor out. Oh, a lot.
All right, guys, we've received the last package I've been waiting for so I can put the engine back together, or should I say the gearbox. These are the seals. We have two seals, forward and after the gearbox. Gearbox is out. I'm gonna take advantage of that and put some new seals in. For the price of, I don't know, probably 50 bucks all up. I've got a whole seal kit for the... We're gonna need a car right Oh, now. she's got a sore neck, guys. She I had a bad funny. night's sleep. She's blaming it on my violent movie. It wasn't even a violent movie. Was it? Well, no, we went to bed watching. It was violent. I had violent dreams. No. I had, my friend was handing me his eyeball. Well, that's a violent that's dream. Weird. That's weird, that gross. wasn't the movie. <laughs> When are you going to get a liner on top of that ceiling, darling? It just doesn't look right for the camera. I don't know. It's so dark in here. I think it's a whitening up. Bella? You look so pretty today. Bella. Model material you are. My drill case there, Bella. I need that long drive set. I thought it was on that yellow box. What are you doing, honey? Oh, look. I don't know if you can see there, but sure can. I'm just going to yank this seal out, hopefully. Oh no, it's not pulling it out. <gasps> That's not good. Have to try that again. Yes! There we go. Well done. There was actually nothing wrong with it. Nothing wrong with it. Replacing parts that aren't broken. Oh, what's wrong with you? Ready? Okay, here we go. Some flipping action. <laughs> nice. <laughs> really? Can I have it's pretty common in these gearboxes. If they leak around the selector, it wasn't leaking, but it was moist around here, and it's only going to get worse. So I've just removed that. That's what the selector goes onto for forward reverse. And there's an o-ring in here so you just replace that and there'll be no leak i actually broke the the old gasket coming out but that's all right it's only a little one i'll make one of those up all right it's time guys um little update i've just rigged this up i've got a line coming through from our cockpit i've just rigged up a little block and tackle here just in the gearbox and reduction case i got a new seal for the front I've replaced the seal and the shifter. This one I got wrong. I don't know if it was me or the person I ordered the seal from. It went wrong somewhere. Um, I've actually got a seal that's probably the other end of the gearbox here without a reduction gearbox, uh, without the reduction on there. So this one I can access without pulling the gearbox out anyway. So I'm just gonna order one of those. I'm gonna put it in, it's not leaking. But uh, come time when it does, I'll have the spare seal there. And like I said, I've got access at the back to take it off without removing the gearbox. And that's what I was aiming at. So I've got the seal on the front, rear main. I shouldn't have to, unless the gearbox fails, pull that out. Uh, just put a little bit of grease on the spline. And we're going to put it back in. Got new engine mounts either side. Just see how we go, slowly putting this back in. We're not going to be able to start it yet because this is our exhaust box, but we also have an exhaust box behind our bed head, which is leaking. So this one's fiberglass, pretty much lifetime job. The one behind our uh, bulkhead, uh, behind the master bed, is a stainless steel one. And if you remember back on Catalpa 1, we had a stainless box and it got pit holes in it. So we're gonna have to find a welder and get them welded up, but we should have all the gearbox and everything ready to turn the key in another couple of hours. Now we've just gotta find a welder in San Diego to weld up the box. Little things I'd like to replace, but we'll have to do them as funds become available. But there's a crack in our pipe here. A lot of these hydraulic lines are sad. I'd like to replace them, but at the moment there's bigger fish to fry and um, We'll get to that. I'll put a list that that'll go on the list. So there's two lines to the gearbox I'd like to get made up for starters. Obviously, we've got this line here which is weeping down around the flange. That'll have to be done. Uh, you can see the date on here it says it was uh, 2003. So it's definitely uh, had its time in the bilge and salt water. It's just the way we've been working our way through, slowly replacing every single piece, which behind the walls takes a lot of time and it doesn't look like you've done anything but your vessel is uh 
only as strong, I suppose, as its weakest point. So if that was to break, you can sink your vessel. So you might be able to pretty up your floors and varnish and all that, but if you don't have all your pipes and lines and clips and all the things that keep it afloat in place, uh, you're in trouble. So we're slowly getting there and we're getting through all this and then we'll be able to do a bit more cosmetics, but there's still a little bit more to get through and uh, we'll just keep chipping away at it. All right, let's put this in. So here it is. He's all finished up in here. He's plumbed up his shaft seal. This is all on and complete. And we've replaced this pipe here. This one's new, it was leaking. This is all back together. Uh, we've got new engine mounts on here. And you can see the captain's arm behind there, he's just finishing up. I'm just up. giving her a little up. <laughs> he's painting the floor at the back I wouldn't say it's my neatest painting job, but <laughs> definitely looks better than what it was. It looks great. So there's a few more jobs he's got to do in here. He's going to replace these steering cable, that red cable there. What else are you doing in here, babe? Nothing too much for now, right? No, it should be. Fingers crossed. This should be just about it. A little bit to look at with the alternator, but... We'll have to wait for funds before we can do too much more there. But other than that, it should be a dry build now. He's sorted out, there was a leaky pipe right there. Um, we had a leak at the back of the boat where the exhaust, there was an exhaust box um, and he's fixed all that up. Everything should be kind of dry. If there's anything leaking now, it's a new problem. So <laughs> let's hope that that's not the case. That's, that's the idea, we'll be able to see the problem too. There's... Yeah, we should be able to see. Let's go see. There he is. Oh, thought he was doing some plumbing. He's not, he's painting. <laughs> this is a painting crack. <laughs> Looky down here. And he's got the new engine mounts on this side. And it's all fresh underneath the engine. It's looking lovely. Lovely jubbly. He's just got to pop that starter motor in and we're just waiting for our water pump to come back as a guy is fixing it up for us. And other than that, we are going to be able to move. We're ever going to go take Catalpa 2 for a run around the bay. Hopefully not find any more problems while we do that. But that's what it will be about. We'll be shakedown sails until we head north or south. We still haven't decided where we're going yet, so... There it is, there's the old donk, but that's it. That was a big job to get to a tiny little cheap seal that was in the middle. A rear main oil seal, but he also ticked off a lot of jobs along the way. So it was a big job to get to a little seal, but it was a, a good job that's now complete and a bit more peace of mind. Things are more reliable. And hopefully we can have some trouble free sailing and go do some fun stuff soon. Hey babe? Oh, I don't know, boating's never trouble free, but... We'll have a few less troubles. I feel like we've bought a new boat and all the teething problems. <laughs> <laughs> we've learned a lot. We've learned a lot, lot not what to do. <laughs> Look, I always said I'd never buy a boat. Um, sight unseen, unsurveyed, but hey. Here we are. These things happen. They do. Now let's go and enjoy it. She's a beautiful old girl. And by the time we get a gut finished with her, she will be really nice. I could just rip this old donk out and put an electric engine in. After all this time spent on air and I money. Know. We'll get a little bit of use <laughs> out of her, but I would go electric. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. They haven't been the most exciting episodes, but I'm sure all those people out there that love watching that stuff have loved them. So thank you. Please uh, like, 
subscribe and hopefully we've got some fun more entertaining things coming your way very soon we'll see you next week bye guys oh see you guys see you out in the bay here it is in and we're about to start the engine for the first time in about a month or longer huh how long has it been oh, i don't know too long all right let's go ah oh, been a lovely day here san diego there goes the disney cruise that was a regular down at the ensenada cruise port and it plays a little tune when it comes in all right seems to be running <laughs>